What's up, guys? This is Mateo's 2020 Politics here. Why do I always get a five-year-old voice when I say 2020? I go like this when I'm making my intro. Mateo's 2020 Politics here. Man, I'm gonna. Be, I never noticed that. Uh, anyway, let's just get to what the video is about. Um, Harvard psychiatrist claims that Donald Trump is a sociopath. Now. Here's the, um, what the, the quote is. Harvard psychologist, dot, dot. Trump's actions are signs of a severe, continuous mental disturbance. I will make the case that Trump is, suffers from a dangerous sociopathic disorder. So, just to make something clear, just because you're a sociopath or psychopath does not mean you're going to go on, mur go on a murdering, murdering spree. It's just a mental disorder. And, um... Now, you might be wondering the difference. So, a psychopath is actually, although it sounds much more familiar, it's less common. So, um, a total of 1% of the population is are psychopaths, and 4% are sociopaths. So, the main differences are that um, with psychopaths, they're kind of much calmer, um, calculated, uh, and they think a lot, right? Now... With sociopaths, their differences are that they're much more impulsive, aggressive, and less calculated. Um, plus, they have a much larger ego, and, uh, you know what I mean? They, they care about themselves much more, like the world revolves around them. Now, of course, these two things have more in common than in difference. What they have in common is these uh, people, uh, these two people suffering from these two disorders, right? Uh... The similarities uh, with these two disorders, I don't, know why, I don't know why I fumbled over that. The similarities from these two disorders are that they're very manipulative, uh, they lie a lot, and they have a severe lack of empathy. Now, with psychopaths, they have no empathy at all. They don't realize what's wrong, what's right. With sociopaths, at least, they actually understand what's wrong and right, but they just don't really feel empathy. You know what I mean? If somebody, if you were walking on the street, Right, and somebody were to spill coffee on their white shirt by accident right in front of you, a psychopath would be like, "Okay," a sociopath would be like, "Oh, that's bad. What happened there was bad." So at least they actually understand that. But anyway, I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I, well, I really just like. When I first read the headline, I was like, "Are you kidding me? Now you're gonna use. Now you're gonna use this this against Trump. There are different things used against Trump and." One time, a lawmaker actually called Trump a psychopath, and I'm like, no. So, I started researching by myself what psychopath was, and he's not a psychopath, he's a sociopath. And when I research, and then I decide that on my own, and my research is Trump a sociopath, I came across this article. So, I guess I was right. Um, so, yay to Matteo for figuring out Trump is a sociopath. Damn, that's... Now that I say it out loud, it's actually I'm probably I actually, I'm actually kind of impressed with myself. Um, not to sound unhumble, but so yeah, let's start reading the article. Now, one thing I do notice about Trump that definitely made me feel like something was off about him at first. I didn't really think at first I didn't really think much about it. He has apparently lied over ten thousand times as president, but I mean, who knows? Maybe he's just a pathological liar. But oh wait. Dr. Lance Dodes of Do Dodes, wow, it's an odd name, of Harvard, says Mr. Trump is a sociopath in that he meets every diagnostic criteria for the official diagnostic term antisocial personality disorder. The fact that this is a personality disorder, rather than simply a single symptom of such as anxiety or depression, means that all of his actions are signs of this severe, continuous mental disturbance. To understand his actions, it is essential to keep in mind that sociopaths only have one goal, to enhance themselves. Like I was describing, guys, um, high ego, self-importance. Um, and that in pursuing their self-interest, they lack both normal human empathy for others and on a normal human consensus. Cheating, conning, lying, Stealing, threatening, are all done with no remorse. Now, 
The cheating part was when was with Stormy Daniels lying. I talked about that. There's no signs of stealing, um, or threatening. I don't really see the president. No, actually, he has. He, yeah, he did. Uh, remember back in uh in the summer of twenty seventeen, Trump was like, I will. Something like uh, I will um create fire and fury like the world has never seen. And he he said that he said that about North Korea. Um, cunning, cunning. I don't know, actually, wow, Jesus effing Christ, he is very cunning. Now, I want you guys to check out a series, if you have Netflix, it's called, um, Trump, an American Dream. I actually watched the first episode of it, it's pretty awesome. Um, you just hear Trump speak, right, and it just, I don't know, it sounded a bit off. The two like, I think he said something like, there are two types of people in this world. There are weak people and there are predators. That, I don't, that kind of gave me a shiver down my spine. And I'm hearing scary music of uh, as I'm making this video for some reason in my head. <laughs> I'm actually creeped out. I, I don't know why. Try making this video on your channel. You, you'll feel a bit of creep. Um, when stress, stressed with facts that would require them to admit failure, or even that others would know more, or are more capable than them, sociopaths will lack, will lose track of reality, becoming delusional with in insistence on the truth of what they psychologically need to maintain their superior view of themselves. Indeed, nobody matters except to the degree that they can serve the sociopath's personal needs. Personal needs. So basically, look man, I'll only be your friend if you will benefit me somehow. So. I don't want to read the whole thing, I, this, it might become too much of a long video, but just to probably another uh, mini paragraph or so, that's why loyalty is demanded, but as soon as an associate disagrees, the sociopath turns on them with a fury. There was never a real relationship to begin with. Um, that, that last one really creeped me out, that, that could really be the... Uh, a line in a trailer for a horror movie about Trump, Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not using this against them. I don't know if I should because, I mean, with sociopaths, you don't have you don't have control over being a sociopath. I mean, you aren't born with it, but at the same time, you, you don't have control over it. It's something with your personality with a disorder. So I can't use it against them, but it's really very creepy. And I think everything that we've seen from Trump, everything that we have seen from him acting off and a bit crazy these are results of him being sociopathic now I want to put the link of this article and probably other articles about this case in the description down below thanks for watching this video and bye if you wanna remember what the difference between a sociopath and psychopath is you can go back to the beginning of the video where I explain it